Atheists like to call themselves free thinkers. They say they're the rational ones. The truth is, they're completely irrational. They're just God denialists, and nobody sees through their games. They don't like the idea of being society's fringe cult of the world, and so they try to make excuses for it. There's an organization called the Rational Response Squad who wants you to believe that atheists are the bright ones. They've been broken free because of their free thinking cap cap uh, capacities. They've broken free of the indoctrination of religion. And therefore, they call themselves atheists who are rational. But they make some really silly mistakes. They describe themselves on their channel as this. Well, they have a website where they find themselves in this way. A good deal of people consider themselves to be agnostic. By this they mean they identify themselves as doubters on the question of God's existence. They usually hold to this position of doubt because reason compels them to doubt. You see, they make it, they want it to sound like it's rational and reasonable to not believe in God instead of the other way around. And they say, because reason compels them to doubt the existence of God, yet they ex resist calling themselves atheists because they also want to hold to their disbelief tentatively. Their expressed reason for this is clear. While their reason leads them to doubt the uh, claims of theism, here we see the claims of theism, you see, as if it's irrational to believe in God, unless, you know, you got to have the physical proof, right? Somebody's got to put it right in front of you on a desk. There's God, put him in a box. Okay, now I might be able to believe in God. You see, they want to make atheism seem rational, as if atheism is not the one making a claim that God doesn't exist. And they put that blame on Christians and creationists. They want them to look like they're making some claim that God exists. Truth is, they're making the claim God does not exist, because the default position for human beings in this world is to believe in God. And that's why almost everyone on earth does, and always has. But I continue. They say, reason also demands that they keep an open mind to the question of God. If you are one such person, then it might interest you to know that your doubt actually makes you an atheist, not an agnostic. And that's false. They're doing this because they want it to seem rational not to believe in God instead of what it really is, which is irrational. They are this little tiny cult of God denialists in the world. And the vast majority of people on the earth, like 97% or so, do now and always have believed in a divine creator. But these people deny the existence of God and want the excuse of making it seem like it's rational to doubt the existence of God. But they're, they completely fail when they play their games. We can see this game being played at Wikipedia. Here's a screen capture from Wikipedia. Which, by the way, is a very poor source for factual information regarding anything because the people that operate the site are atheists. And they're, they, for their bias allows, uh, prevents them from people editing this website so that it reflects the truth. If anyone goes to Wikipedia and, tries to, and signs up as a user and wants to edit any of their articles and you change anything to reflect the truth, whether it's about God or history or art or I mean science, and you know what? Your write-up will not be allowed as part of it. I know. I tried. They won't let it go through. But you can write all kinds of fallacies about history, science, or religion there. And they'll add it, allow that to become part of their site. You see, because the site is controlled by secular people, God denialists. They state, however, most inclusively, what? Why should the definition of atheism be inclusive? You see, they're making the same game that these supposed rational response squad, this band of idiots, makes when they play the games with the word atheism and agnosticism. They say, most inclusively, atheism is simply the absence or belief of belief of that any deity exists. That's false. That's agnosticism, not atheism. For, let me explain why. If somebody said to you, hey, you know what? I am the one who uh, really admires uh, uh, pink whatchamacallit winga wing wings. And somebody said, what? What is a pink whatchamacallit wing a wing? And they said, well, you don't know about pink what you call a wing wings? Well, no, I've never heard of a pink what you call a wing wing. 
Well, I, I, I lack a belief in a pink, what you call a wing-wing. I don't even know what that is. I'm agnostic towards pink, what you call a wing-a-wings. You see, that would be the truth. They lack a belief in it because they've never heard of it, don't know anything about it. But atheism and agnosticism is a little different. You can't go up to an atheist and say, I believe in God, and you say you don't. That makes you an agnostic. No, they'll say, no, no, I'm an atheist. But the truth is, they're an agnostic by their own definition, you see. It's a conscience, a conscious choice to disbelieve in God, is what atheism is. Agnosticism could be described as a lack of belief in God, not atheism. So when these atheists label themselves as atheists and then turn around and out of the other side of their mouth, dis define themselves as agnostics, say, well, I lack a belief in God because nobody's ever provided me any evidence for God, so I just lack a belief. You see, that's failure. They've chosen not to believe. They have a disbelief in God. Some of them even make the positive assertion, there is no God, that God does not exist, which they cannot know. So we see the absolute lack of rational thinking in these people. They call themselves the Rational Response Squad. They're quite the opposite. They're the Irrational Response Squad. So anyway, now here's the truth about what definition of atheism is. The Webster's Dictionary states, Atheism, atheist is one who believes there is no deity. See, to believe there is none, it's a positive assertion. You can't have say, I've heard about God all my life, and say, I don't know what that is. I, I lack a belief in God. No. You've chosen not to believe in God based upon what you've known and learned and heard about God. You've chosen not to believe. That would make you an atheist, not an agnostic. The definition of, of atheism, according to the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, is a, atheism means the negative of theism, the denial of the existence of God. You don't deny something you never heard of. That would be agnosticism. Dictionary.com describes it as the doctrine or belief that there is no God or disbelief in the existence of the supreme being or beings. These are positive assertions that they do not believe, a choice not to believe. Agnosticism it would be a lack of belief. And atheists label themselves atheists by calling themselves agnostic because they think it gives them an excuse for saying that they're rational and they would believe in God if you could only provide evidence for him. You see how illogical and irrational these people are? They have to play with the definition of words and try to twist words to suit their denialism of the existence of God so that they don't look like idiots for not believing in God. According to Oxford Dictionaries, Disbelief in the existence of God or gods. An MSN and Carter dictionary. Disbelief in the existence of God or deities. Disbelief. That is a choice not to believe. You see. So, here we see that atheists are not irrational. They're not logical. They're not reasonable. They try to make excuses for the illogical, irrational statement that they lack a belief in God by calling themselves an atheist and, uh, and defining themselves as an agnostic. It's an absurd play with words and a denial, as a matter of fact, of the very definition of those words in order to try to make themselves look like somebody who's not stupid and denies the existence of God while virtually everyone else in the world does and always has for good reason.